Welcome, Exiles. Today I want to give you a quick update, well, kinda quick, uh, on one with nothing build that I've been playing. I wasn't... I didn't want to make too many of these kind of videos, updates about the build, until I made it better. And I made it pretty busted yesterday, uh, once I've picked up the new split personalities jewels. I've picked the ones that are actually cheap, uh, they used to be, when I saw them first, they used to be 5 chaos, the ones that I wanted. And I was an idiot not to buy them, I should have bought them. But I wanted to get some something else at the time and... Uh, yeah, I think I wanted to get the chest, Wild Wrap, with um, Six Link. And while rap is like not on your priority list anymore, nor is it like these split personalities jewels, if you can pick them up, even if they're not like perfect, as long as they're giving dexterity, which are kind of 20 ish, 30 ish chaos, with something that's like not that great along it, alongside maybe evasion, maybe armor, maybe, I don't know, intelligence, who cares? Intelligence is actually pretty expensive, sorry about that, but yeah. <laughs> like, if you can pick up anything, it doesn't matter. If it gives dexterity, you should pick up at least uh, two to four uh, of them, and then you can respec into this busted build that basically deletes everything. Uh, you are probably going to have more pro problems than with survivability, than with the damage. I've dropped my impales and I still am deleting bosses. I'm one-shotting all the mobs in uh, any maps in Simulacrum. Uh, so, yeah, like impales uh, only for bosses, but even bosses are kind of dropping really quickly without impales. So, I don't know, it's pretty busted, but I have to kind of raise uh, the defenses a bit. I went from uh, Slayer to Gladiator for block, which uh, made it way, way better in, in terms of survivability. And it also made it like I have a Nitro in terms of uh, how fast the build moves with Arena Challenger, and I clear maps way, way faster with that. I decided to use this particular uh, video that I recorded uh, because I wanted to show you this part when my health started dropping because this can be fixed really easily and I've been an idiot for like not fixing it uh, this far into the build and the reason is probably corrupted blood I don't think it's uh, it has to do anything with uh, delirium so I can do two things either drop completely life leech or get the jewelry with corrupted blood and fix it that way. But now let's move into the passives and show you how everything works. So, we are no longer a Slayer, we are now a Gladiator. That's kind of the first thing that I want to go over. So the Slayer was a bit squishy and I decided to try uh, to mitigate that with block. So I made Gladiator. Uh, let's go over first how block works, because that's pretty interesting, in my opinion. So we are getting Paint Forge, which uh, gives a lot of block, like 8% chance to block damage if you were damaged hit recently. So this uh, gives you more like block once you kind of get hit. Um, Increase damage if you take in no damage hits recently, so you're blocking all the time and there's a really, really good chance that you're not taking damage because you, you're blocking a lot of it and you're not taking damage. Cannot be stunned by hits you block. You're blocking a lot of them, so there's a like chance that you might be stunned, but not a big one. You count your counter attacks deal double damage. We're not using counter attacks. There is only one counter attack that can be used uh, with unarmed, and it sucks. So we're not using that. Then, uh, like the next thing that's kind of important, like you have to take this. Other things you can move them around, but you have to uh, take this versatile combatant. Your chance to block spell damage is equal to chance to block attack damage. Maximum chance to block spell damage is, is equal to maximum chance to block attack damage. So we are blocking spells and attacks like our block is the same. So we can increase just one of them and have the other one be increased at the same time. 
awesome, isn't it? Then uh, I decided to go even more block. So we're grabbing this attack speed block and we're getting uh, one uh, retaliation, which gives a 4% to maximum chance to block attack damage again, then gives 8% increased physical damage for each time you've blocked in past 10 seconds. So this can stack up really nicely. Um, and if we, if we grab something like roomies, we can stack it even higher because I'm currently not uh, uh, kept for blocking. Well, not all the time probably, but I could grab roomies and be kept all the time almost. Then we have increased physical damage if you block damage from unique enemy in past 10 seconds. So for bossing, this is really cool. Uh, chance to block attack damage for each time you've blocked in past 10 seconds. So if you're blocking a lot, your block chance keeps going higher, higher. And you've been blocking, you're going to block even more. So this is ridiculous. Uh, so that's kind of really cool for survivability. And then we're going with uh, the Nitro Arena Challenger. <laughs> so Arena Challenger challenger gives you more attack speed and movement speed per, per challenger uh, charges which maybe to some people are going to be annoying i kind of like them the challenger uh, charges uh, so the challenger charges work this way you have 25 percent to gain a challenger strike um, the challenger charge when you hit a rare unique enemies while in blood stance and you're gaining challenger uh, charges when you kill an enemy while in sand stance so if you're mapping you switch to sand, st sand stance which is going to give you more area damage either way like bigger uh, cyclone and when you're uh, on uh, the boss you switch to uh, blood stance which is going to give you more damage and also give you challenger charges so if you can see i in blood stance i'm doing this insane amount of damage in like here not counting impales not counting like if enemies are bleeding or i don't know what it's not counted here but this is like probably three times the more or four times more damage after it's counted with everything so it's like in terms of like millions a few millions of damage probably uh, i'm going to try to calculate it in path of building i'm kind of new to path of building so i'm still figuring it out that's why i haven't made um like a final build guide or something like that because i cannot like figure out everything in path of building and be confident to share that with you guys and call it a build guide not like work in progress so yeah like this this is insane in blood stance if i switch stances i'm going to do bit less damage kind of okay <laughs> it's definitely okay it does a lot of damage but i'm going to have a bigger area so if i'm spinning around in a distance switch it it goes smaller it goes bigger and it's cool so yeah um that's kind of what we're doing with uh, arena challenger uh the other way that you can go but it's kind of really not needed i mean you're going to be doing even more damage but do you even need it you can drop this drop that and uh glow go for um the blood explosions so these work uh, in a way if you if the bleeding enemies that you are killing so you, you have it gives chance to bleed uh, so you're definitely going to bleed them and uh, if the enemy dies that is bleeding it deals 10 percent of their maximum life as physical damage and you get 25 more damage with bleeding so it's a more multiplayer this is going to do even more damage um the accent on more <laughs> so the the blood explosions are really really fun but then you're kind of dropping the arena challenger which is giving you a lot of movement speed maybe with devotos would be fun but i like arena challenger much better and having an extra survivability here uh, you can also drop maybe just this and go for outmatch outlast which is going to give you 10% uh, more physical damage at maximum frenzy charges and 10% uh, reduced physical uh, damage taken while at maximum endurance charges but uh, it's going to be kind of hard to keep them up on uh, bossing like when you get to the boss and maybe it's kind of okay for mapping 
but we're one-shotting everything and we're not dying in maps mostly uh, going to end up uh, dying on some boss encounter probably I haven't died from like regular mobs ever uh, with um, when switching to gladiator so mm, I don't know I went with this that's kind of but let's get to uh, like the most most insane thing here and uh, those are these split personalities jewels so if I grab one of them like pull it out one pull it out look at this just how much they are giving uh, let's see where I have them I have one more here Oop. I have one more here boop I think I should have one more somewhere. Oh yeah, I have one more. Boop. So these are the stats that I have at the moment. Uh, as you can see, I lost whole bunch of dexterity here. Like these are not to toy, to toy with in terms of how much dexterity they're giving. And more dexterity with one with nothing means way more damage. Where's my one with nothing? Here it is. So yeah, like 14 to 20 attack damage, physical damage per 10 dexterity. So yeah, kind of crazy. Uh, so if we kind of go to Cyclone and look at the damage, here's the like without them. And here's like if you drop them somewhere like this this it depends how far you are from the beginning of the skill tree like from here and getting to here and how you patted to there so if uh, we drop one in here uh, my damage is going to go up like a bit not like crazy but still like it is crazy like I cannot say it's not crazy uh, so we also get some <clears throat> life from this because we are um, wearing um, Garukan's flights which give uh, max life per 10 dexterity and we're getting damage and we're getting evasion so it's crazy <laughs> and we are also getting evasion here so if I, uh, I pick the ones with evasion so you can see I'm transforming my ev evasion into armor so if I remove it I'm getting like 8% uh, damage reduction for physical if we drop one more of them, uh, we're getting 44% because I'm scaling up my attributes here and here uh, like here is 15% uh, uh, here is another 50% here is another 8% and I will probably uh, make it even more later on uh, there is a way to actually put some jewels that also increased um, <clears throat> increased your uh, strength and dexterity I will show you that drill a bit later on but it's kind of not that great at the moment for me at least so we put these in um, so do we have uh, like more here As now I have this one which gives 5 strength 5 max life I'm using that one because it gives me a lot of life for survivability I've been toying around with uh, putting it um, further so I can get even more life but it's kind of not that crazy but yeah, like we can put this one in here then. Um, so we're getting, uh, we're in a cyclone. Okay, uh, let's, let's see. There's something going amiss here. Oh yeah, I'm mean, looking at the defenses. <laughs> looking at armor. That's not my damage, that's way too low. But that are defenses for 43% defenses. Offenses we're getting, getting up there. Um, then we drop uh, one more here, it goes even more, then we drop one more here. This one is actually pretty close, I could drop something else in there, uh, but uh, let me show you that other jewel that we can use. So, we can use uh, this jewel, well, where it is, yeah, increase dexterity, increase uh, strength, reduce intelligence, I think I have one with 12, and I'm going to maybe corrupt them because they are cheap to get that uh, corrupted blood, but even if I like drop it here, as you can see it gives less and it actually takes um, away some intelligence, which might be problematic if I want to level up some gems, like Ray Spectres. Um, so yeah, like, that's kind of how it works. We're dropping these 
a nice split personality jewels and they work in a way the, you can see it says uh, 45, uh, 45 allocated passive skills between this socket and your class starting location. So if you go like this, it gets to there. <laughs> that was weird sound. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like you have to pet this, like make these uh, spaghetti, spaghetti, or how they're, I don't know how to pronounce them in English, but um, yeah, like uh, you try to go as crazy as possible and make a longest pet as possible. So as you can see, I went through here, grab this, then I go through here. Uh, we have uh, this dexterity transformation, which is no longer that OP, in my opinion. I could even um, drop um, something in there, like that increased. Um, that's kind of something that maybe we can toy with. Nope, this one is still better. Um, so yeah, like we go through there. Then uh, we go whoop, and grab this uh, large socket to get hollow palm technique. Yeah, I'm kind of... Uh, if I had voices, I would probably put it somewhere else. Because this may be a waste of getting like two of these. I had even a third one here. <laughs> Uh, then we go through this here, grab cannot leech and go through here for kind of extra life. This could be dropped later on uh, once we get those um, split personality jewels that give, give five life, um, five dexterity. Then I would get way, way, way more life and then I maybe don't care about like scaling it that high from here. Then you go through here, grab even more life, elemental resistances. We're kind of starved for uh, elemental resistances, so this is actually pretty good for me. And this extra movement speed, it's not for throwing away. We grab uh, this region here, we grab some more life. Uh, this gives um, um, more physical damage, which is really good. Go through here, drop our first person, um, split personality jewel. Go through here, grab um, uh, to maximum life, increase maximum life, awesome. Grab this increased elemental e and evasion and armor. This sentinel is pretty OP for us because uh, we're scaling our base from um, ev evasion rating is converted to armor. So like this gives us um, Increased ev evasion, so it multiplies. Not mul it multiplies it. Let's say, like, not to complicate it too much. So it multiplies first that base value of evasion, then turns it into armor, then uh, multiplies it again uh, as an armor. So this is actually pretty insane node to have. I had uh, might of the Meek here tried that out, but I don't wanna like kill the Sentinel, and I could. Uh, toy around with getting even this socket here if I wanted to like project get these two additional resistances and drop some resistance on gear but that would probably I would have to level up because I'm so starved for um, points so we go through here grab one more of these this one gives 76 dexterity uh, 610 evasion and 57 points are we are away from this one. Then we go through here, grab some more dexterity, grab some additional life. Then we grab some block chance, again block chance. Uh, then we have another one of uh, split personalities. This one gives 91 dexterity, 730 evasion. We are 69 points away from the beginning of the skill tree. I could drop uh, one of like I could drop maybe um, this damage here and get like jewel socket here or maybe drop this life and get five strength uh, five life and put it here that would probably give me more life than actually scaling it up here even though this is 10 percent I have I would have to try uh, like toy around with that like I'm kind of getting a, an idea here then we go through here get this eight percent dex which is awesome 
when you go through here, uh, branch off into like this large uh, jewel. I went with uh, Deadly Repartier. I'm not sure if how, how I'm supposed to pronounce it, but yeah, that one. Uh, block chance, increased attack damage while dual wield, increased crit strike chance. Not really that great for us, but I wanted that block. I would probably uh, switch it with Master of Fundamentals uh, with attack damage for like additional resistances and additional physical damage would be better but I want wanted this block chance so I have uh, like the higher block chance it's 54 and when we go into fight it stacks up a bit more once we block um, I already explained how it, it increases from uh, from our um, ascendancies uh, but it goes even higher maybe not needed I may be over killing it uh, and I have like drive the destruction life leech here, which is probably the reason what why I'm getting killed. I might like uh, like for that corrupted blood. I might kind of go through here and grab the jewel socket and drop completely life leech because it keeps killing me on corrupted enemies. Uh, then we have uh, this one, which gives 108 strength, 108 life, or it would have given us 100. Uh, how is this like further than this? Should be the same. Yeah, this one gives 107 dexterity, uh, 680 evasion rating, and we're 82 uh, skill points between um, our starting point and here. So it's kind of crazy, uh, like the amount of dexterity that you can get. <coughs> Imagine if you had voices, then you could put three of these. Uh, and if you wanted to go even more crazier, uh, you could like go through. Well, pet maybe a bit differently, so this uh, gets connected here, maybe, like, like I'm just saying, uh, gets connected, and then you kind of maybe go through here and drop it here, so it's get it get it gets connected that way. Um, so I would have to delete this point here and yeah, this this point here and this point here and then go through like here and then connect it like this or go through here. It doesn't matter. I don't think it would be that crazy to go through here. So I would probably go like this, connect that, then delete like this part here and then uh, you can... Uh, <clears throat> Connect this here, delete this, and then you have this socket, which is even further. Uh, I will have to toy around with this, so maybe I could do that. Uh, I'm always getting ideas when I look at my skill tree, I'm going to end up respecking it. <laughs> I, I don't know, I'm, I'm just that crazy about uh, like optimizing it. So we could connect there and get two additional slots for putting in um, like this stuff. Uh, it's kind of bummer that I would have to spend one for hollow pump technique. <laughs> I would probably want to grab it somewhere where, where there's like no, like not a big travel pad. Maybe I would do this and grab this one so I can put hollow pump technique there uh, and maybe drop this life. But I really wanted life because I'm getting starved for life. I, if I wanted to increase my damage i would go that way and i would increase my life at the same time if i could uh, grab the jewel jewels that are giving life and dexterity but those are like five exalts and i would need uh, like uh, two here two here at least four of them so maybe five so that's like 20 exalts if i get 20 exalts i'm making an update and showing you how this works but in the meantime i have one idea where i can kind of go with this on a budget and if you want to see that uh like leave the comment i i kind of won't spoil it it's a secret for now uh but i think i can make like um this much damage maybe even more damage for um it's still going to be one with nothing, um, but it's going to be differently structured and it's going to have even more defenses and more damage for less money. <laughs> if I can do that uh, and make a video, uh, maybe if it gets... Well, I'm not that popular, but if I was popular, I would probably jack up the prices for the items. <laughs> 
<laughs> so it would that not be cheap again. <laughs> Who knows? Like uh, at the moment, uh, the prices are really jacked up for uh, split personalities. I would recommend pick up anyone, any any personality doesn't matter. So like the the ones that are 10 to 20, 30 cows, pick up four of them and do uh, the things that I did. Um, I don't know how many I have, I, I have more, but uh, one, two, maybe three, four, those are important, like this one is overkill here, so you don't have to get split personality there, you can get, maybe you can actually get split personality with something like that, it's not dexterity for one or two chaos, you can get life evasion or uh, something like that. That's actually a good idea. You can get life evasion. That's probably ridiculously cheap, and uh, kind of get more uh, more severability that way. So yeah, like it's pretty cool. Um, I've been uh, messing around with this, and I'm really happy with how much damage it's doing. Uh, one thing that could be even crazier is changing the ascendancy to Berserker, <laughs> which has 40% more damage globally, which is going to well, delete everything, including bosses, and maybe go like full glass cannon and one-shot everything. But some bosses have stages, so... Mm, I don't know. I wanna try Berserker, I'm probably going to level up one. Um, it could be also Raider, it could be Champion, it could be... Uh, I mean, it could be Juggernaut even, for like more survivability if we can raise our um, defenses to the extremes. And then uh, maybe scale up damage some way. I mean, Juggernaut doesn't have that much... Uh, we can't scale up damage that far but then we are uh, really really tanky so i don't know um but it's it's playing i want to play with endurance charges and those are going to be kind of hard to get uh with all this like petting craziness so i would have to play around with that but for now like the build is pretty crazy at the moment as it is uh i'm going to try to figure out path of building so i can uh, make this uh ma make it like easy to follow uh, and make it like a perfect version that that's like end game and you don't have to change anything afterwards if you can follow it maybe something that's uh, like cheaper on a budget side uh, maybe something that's like perfect if you can get it but i will try to make path of building that's like my next step that i want to figure out so i can improve my builds without spending a whole bunch of currency on respecting in game so yeah guys um this kind of all uh thanks thank you for watching and see you in the next one